Took several significant steps forward this spring and summer. Panarin, Truba, Fox, Greg McKegg, who was signed today. Cabo Caco, who was drafted second overall, plus the Rangers have signed. That young group of prospects that you could see in training camp this year. Certainly you heard John Davidson talk about the process of building a consistent contender. The next step, to pick the 20-man roster that opens the season October 3rd against the Jets at the Garden. It'll make for a fascinating and intriguing training camp, and head coach David Quinn knows it. Well, they'll pick it themselves based on how they play, and I know that might be an old coaching cliche, but it's the truth. I mean, you know, when camp starts, guys are going to have a great opportunity. And as a player, that's all you can ask. And we have plenty of opportunity for these young players, but at the end of the day, their play is going to dictate whether they make the roster or not and how much ice time they're going to get. So, you know, it's an exciting time to be a young player in the Ranger organization because of where we're at, but you also have to earn it. And, you know, I think these guys are fully aware of that. Great attitude, Steve, for a team that is going to have so many young players in training camp all hoping to catch a coach's eye and make a memorable first impression. I think the one that everybody is going to be watching most intently is Capo Caco. Well, I think his rookie season just got better by way of Artemi Panarin today. Uh, it's just going to take so much pressure off him, John. He's going to be learning from another European player that's gone through this process. And if there's one concern that I do have with the roster is it's very heavy on the Europeans. I'd like to see a few more North Americans. <laughs> if you look at the St. Louis why, Blues, why, they why have, is that important? You need the leadership in the locker room just for everybody to understand how things work in the NHL from their perspective. And there are certain things that, that work a certain way with North American players. And when it gets gritty and it's going to get there, when you have those games in the regular season that mirror the playoffs, we're going to be able to find out what kind of team we have here in New York. If it's too heavy on the European side, I think it is. I think that the St. Louis Blues had 16 Canadians in their lineup. They just won. And I think when you look at Boston, if you want to learn from them, they have five of their top six that are grown, developed, drafted by their Boston Bruins. I think these things help. Um, but I'm a little concerned with that. There's still time for them to make a move here, but our Temi Panarin definitely helps Kako's transition. Well, we saw the list of prospects who have signed with the Rangers and will be in the organization, and certainly one of them, Vitaly Kravtsov. He was the 2018 first-round pick. Yep. So much promise for him. <laughs> Is it maybe too much to expect, having never played on North American ice, for him to start the season in New York? Look, it's going to be difficult. The transition, it's not going to be overnight, but he had a great development camp by all accounts. Again, a player that's going to just be in the same room as Panarin, also a Russian player that's gone through this process of getting comfortable in North America. He's got somebody to lean on. That helps. I don't want to undermine that at all. Um, but, you know, these are young hockey players. They're going to have to learn the NHL way, and that's why I'd like to see a little bit more help. We saw it in the playoffs this year where there's a certain team that looks a certain way that gets you into the playoffs, and then there's a certain team that looks a certain way that gets you past the first and second and third rounds. That's what the Rangers are going to find out about themselves. I still think this team looks good enough on paper today to really fight for a spot. We couldn't say that 24 hours ago. For sure. And one of the reasons as well is because after the season was over, David Quinn emphatically said, we've got to get better defensively. The Rangers did that. You heard John Davidson mention the trade that GM Jeff Gorton swung with Winnipeg to bring in Jacob Truba. He's a young North American player, but has some veteran experience underneath him. What should we expect from him on and off the ice this year? You know, I would expect a lot because of what he's done in the NHL. Now, he's going to be more of a 3-4 than a 1-2, so don't get your expectations too high. But what I think is going to be great is the relationship that he does have off the ice with Brady Shea and how that should elevate Shea. Shea's coming off not his best season. That's going to help. I also think that Truba wasn't his best version of himself in the playoffs in the first round loss because he was probably protecting his merchandise a little bit, and that's the human angle that you can look at. And, and don't take too much away from the way you saw him in the first round. Better indication is what we saw prior to the playoffs for the player.